AFTV happy today? Good first half, very bad second half. But most important thing is the three points. The thing is that this season we've had four, we've done four wins, and each of them have been by one goal. This team cannot finish off teams, Robbie. You've seen we can't, we haven't dominated. Tell me one game this season that you'd say we've dominated. We haven't dominated. We haven't games dominated no games in the Premier League. Eight, yeah, we dominate it. games no, in the Europa League, League, other games. Don't forget the Europa but, League. I'm talking about the Premier League. There's eight Premier League games. We haven't dominated a single one. I think this is due to his negative tactics. For example, Man U. This is the worst Man U team in 30 years. We we went there with three defensive midfielders. With that, we're never going to dominate a game, correct? Today we went one nil up and we just dropped back. Second half we was like we dropped back. It's like he was, we were too cautious. Why are we too cautious? We're not playing like Liverpool or someone. We're playing no disrespect. We're playing Bournemouth. We should be getting it. His style of play. Yeah, his style of play. Yeah, but that, but this style of play will get will come back and catch up to us, you know? Because if we play like this every week, eventually teams will come to us and they will score that equaliser. Because you saw against Burnley, we edged them 2-1. Newcastle, we edged them 1-0. Villa, we just got over the line that game. So it was going to catch up with us. Are we lacking creativity. I know you're <laughs> never been. A, I know you've never been a big fan of Mesut Özil, right? You've never ever been a big fan of Mesut Özil. But without him, we're not creating much, are we? What, what was he creating before? What was More than what we see now. Was he? What five years ago? He hasn't created anything for three years. He was a good creative player until. October 2016. The manager's job then maybe he to try and get that back no, out of it's, it's done, it's done, Robbie. He hasn't created anything for three years. You can bring him in and it'll be exactly the same. In fact, for me, it would be worse because that means we're playing with 10 men if he comes in the side. Because at least these guys are runners. Look at Gwendozi. He runs. Sabayos runs. Saka, I'm so impressed with Saka. That guy, first of all, he runs at players. He can take on players. And whenever he loses the ball, have you seen how he runs back? Ozil, if when he loses the ball, he just stands there. Yeah? So, Robbie, if Ozil was in this team, we would be playing 11 versus 10 every so you single week. the decision not of to have course, him? Of course, Robbie. I've been saying this since... Robbie, wasn't I the first one out of everyone to come on here and say, this guy is not good enough? February 2017, when we lost against Chelsea, I said that and everyone was like, what's this going about? He's not agreeing at all. I was saying he's this for three years, <laughs> come Robbie. Come right, right, Three years. The anatomy, break it down for the anatomy of the number 10 position yeah, no, 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 no. is to create. Just because you don't see what's been created doesn't mean he's not doing his job. I appreciate what you're saying about Ozil. His work rate does lack. But in our system, he doesn't suit our system. But... To pay him 350k and not have him on the bench when what were, what were you creating against Bournemouth? You get rid of him. Mr. But Ars no one wants him. That's Arsenal. why we. That's why he's on the Ars not in the squad. No one wants him. Arsenal no one wants no. him. Emery doesn't want him. Arsenal used to be known as flat track bullies. What did we do to Villa? We had to come back. Bournemouth. We should be bullying this team. We're not even flat track bullies anymore. But, what are we? But Ozil wouldn't. What Ozil would not change would anything. He he might make one pass in the whole well, 90 minutes. And that's it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I play football. I play the number 10 role, yeah? yeah? I know. If the runners are... He's got a Bamiyan. What was a Bamiyan getting today? You get I back mean, if you lose the ball. Yeah, in the I, numbers. Do, I personally do that. Well, why can't Ozil then? <laughs> that, that, that is my criticism. That is, that is my criticism. Look, look, let's, look at, let's look at who's top of the league. Liverpool, all right? Do all their players... Do all their players trap back? Do all their players work as a unit together? Exactly. Man City. Who's their number 10? De Bruyne, just say. The, he tracks back. Every number 10 in the league now tracks back because that's how the game is nowadays. You've got to track back. Everyone has got to track back. You can't have passengers, yeah? Ozil, Robbie, for three years, you know, Robbie, he, has he been good for Arsenal the last three years? Tell me. So you, no, no, I'm asking you. Uh, I'm, not, I'm staying out of it. Yeah, Neutral. We know your answer. You're just, we know, I know I'm staying answer. out. You don't know my answer. Know you don't know my answer. I'm staying yeah, out of it. Yeah, he's been good I agree with your point that the modern game, number 10, has changed. Exactly, it has. Yeah. You have to press. You have to put the work rate. But, we've got but, so but, but, but not to have Ozil even on the bench, that's criminal. That's absolutely he's, he's criminal. Carlin Kopp, he can like, be on the bench, but not in the league. Nah, it's, you know what? But the problem is the club need to do now because the thing is that no one else is going to buy him, right? Because of his wages. So we're stuck because you can't really... OK, we have to blame the old regime for giving him 350k a week, but we're stuck because no one's going to buy him. So it's either leave him on the reserves or, you know what I mean, or just... It's, it's we, we blame the old regime for giving him the 350k, but what happened? It was us. Arsenal fans were getting restless. We either let Alexis go or we let Ozil go. We couldn't let both of them go. And we and they, 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 say, they succumbed to the pressure. To all us Arsenal fans going, oh, we can't sell our two best players. So we're getting 350k. Let's make the most of him. At least have him on the bench.